Hello guys, and welcome to the Bit Build Guide, where we'll show you how to assemble your amazing DIY gaming console, Bit. First, let's go through the list of components that arrived in your box and which you'll need to assemble your device. Circuit board. As you can see, it already holds a bunch of electronic components in place and it provides connections between them. Button caps that will make playing games on Bit possible. You'll need seven of these battery holder and three AA batteries for powering your device, eight plastic bolts, four plastic standoffs and two metal screws to keep everything in place. And lastly, acrylic casings which protect your device and keep the buttons in place. To assemble bit, you'll also need a screwdriver, which came with the set. Let's start with the casings. Take a look at the casings and see if you have any leftover pieces inside the holes that are drilled into them. If you do, you can just push them out like this. When you're done, the pieces should look like this. Now, let's remove the protective layer from both sides of the casings. When you're done, they should be completely transparent. Take the one with bit written on it and place a plastic bolt through one of the holes. The word bit should be facing towards you. Now, take one standoff and connect it to the bolt on the other side, like this. You can now repeat this process with the rest of the standoffs. Next, let's connect the battery holder to the back side of the circuit board. Take the circuit board and this casing piece. Place the casing piece onto the board as shown here. Take the battery holder and two metal screws. Place the battery holder on the back side of the circuit board so that the holes on the battery holder align with the holes on the circuit board. Keep in mind that the wires coming out of the battery holder should be on the same side as the JST connector on the board so make sure not to rotate the battery holder the other way around. Now, use your screwdriver to tighten the screws so that the battery holder stays in place. When you're done, connect the cable to that JST connector we mentioned earlier. Finally, place the three AA batteries into the battery holder, but be careful of their orientation. The plus and minus signs on the battery should match the signs in the battery holder. Now, you can remove the plastic layer from the screen. Let's add the rest of the casing pieces. Take this piece and place it on the front side of the circuit board. The buttons on the board should go through the holes like this. Take seven button caps and place them on top of every button. Don't worry if the button caps are slightly tilted. Now, take the other casing piece that is identical to the one we placed before putting the button caps and place it on top of that one. Take this last casing piece and place it on top as well, as shown here. Now take the four plastic bolts and put them through the four holes located in the corners of these three casing pieces. Finally, it's time to take that back side casing piece with the word bit written on it. Place it on the back side like this and align the standoffs with the plastic bolts we put through the board in the previous step. Use a screwdriver to tighten them and you're done! We hope you had fun assembling your very own DIY gaming console bit.